How to install a front-facing dash cam in a Honda Fit 2015 third generation. The dash cam I'm installing is an 8-man C550 which has front and rear view cameras. To keep the video short I'll be showing the front camera in store and in another two videos I'll be showing you how to install the rear facing camera and evaluating the dash cam quality plus its features. Connect your dash cam to the 12 volt power socket and put the ignition into position 1 so the camera has power. I would have preferred to have placed my dash cam here but somebody decided it was the best location for a tack sticker which has to remain in place. Have the locking plate attached to the camera and remove the sticky pad backing cover. You can also protect your dash cam from the sun or potential theft by having some of this perforated vinyl adhesive film above the camera's body. Place the camera to your preferred position without anything obstructing its view and push firmly in place and turn the ignition off. Now to start hiding the power cable behind the headliner. You may need to use an interior trim tool, mine was included in the kit. Now I'm at the top of the 8 pillar plastic cover on the driver's side. If your car has side airbags you need to disconnect the battery for at least 10 minutes and then detach the top part of the 8 pillar plastic cover. In this image the airbag is yellow and the power cable is white. The dash cam power cable has to go an alternative route so the airbag won't be obstructed during deployment. Back to my install with no side airbag. A bit more force is needed inserting the cable here which is where the interior trim tool comes in handy. You should be able to do this without lifting or removing the A-pillar plastic trim. Now to run the cable behind the driver's door seal. The space of the cable is limited but it is possible to get it in there. At this point I turn right and hide the cable behind the lower side of the steering wheel trim and the best way to stop the cable from dropping is to use some zip tie adhesive mount hidden on the opposing side of the trim. Finally I get to the 12 volt socket and plug in the connector. Any excess cable can be fed backwards and hidden with a zip tie adhesive mount on the opposing side of the trim. If the video was useful please consider giving it a like or subscribing to my channel. Many thanks.